So this podcast is going to put everything that we've got together. So let's take a look at our nice little graph that we're always so used to. There's our nice little parabola. There's our basic parabola. It goes right through that wonderful little zero, zero point. There we go. Everything's wonderful. Yippee skippy. But now we'll take a look at this particular parabola. We have something very, very interesting going on here. How about we just go over to the graph and let's take a look and see what this is going to actually look like. Let's plot it. There's minus 2. We're going to put a bracket around this. We're going to go x minus 3 bracket square that. So that makes a, a quadratic function. Remember, we have to have an x squared plus 5. And let's graph this thing. Let's see what it looks like. Take a look at this. Now, we can actually get all of this information just by looking at these values here, here, and here. Let's go back to our graph here and see what it looks like. Remember, our minus 2 in our equation means that, oh boy, it's going to be flipped upside down. It's an unhappy problem. It's going to be narrow. The minus 3 and the minus 5 means that it's going to move horizontally and vertically. So let's go back to our nice little grid here. First thing I want to look at is always start with these two numbers. That's where you should start every single time. Now, there's our minus 3. We know from the last podcast we have to flip the sign for this. 1, 2, 3. So we're actually dealing with an x of positive 3. Positive 5, we don't flip that sign. 2, 3, 4, 5. There's our starting point. And we're actually going to refer to this now as a vertex. Very, very important term now. That's a vertex. Now, take a look at our A term. Our A term means it's negative, so it's an unhappy parabola face opening downwards. And being that it's a 2, it's going to be very narrow. So we're actually just going to go out and do something like that. Now, let's compare this to what we had on the graph earlier. Very, very similar. You can see that this point right here is actually our vertex which is 3 5 opening down just like we predicted and quite narrow so okay let's go on to our next thing let's do a little bit of a summary here of everything that we need to know so far in terms of quadratics first things first let's look at that a term we know that if the a is a positive value it opens up we know that if a is a negative value, it opens down. That's our happy and unhappy parabolas. We know that if a is a big number, this thing is narrow. And we know that if a is a fraction, we know that it's wide. Perfect. Now, let's put in our P's and Q's here. Our P, we remember we have to flip, but this is what we call our horizontal translation. Okay, so this is going to move left or right. So if it's negative, it moves right. If it's positive, it moves left. So it's flipped. This, which is our Q value, is what we call our vertical translation. All right, and that just goes up and down. So that helps us to determine the vertex, which is our starting point. So let's take a look at this thing. Now, we're not going to use our calculator on this one. I'm just going to go out and graph it. So again, start with your vertex your 4, and your 3. Now remember, we have to flip this one. So this vertex is actually coordinate negative 4, positive 3. So let's go plot this. Negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, positive 3, 1, 2, 3. There's our point. Now look at this. This tells us it's also going to be opening downwards, and being that it's a fraction, it's going to be wide. So it's going to basically look something like this. And you can go out and you can put this on your calculator now and actually graph it, and uh, I'll leave that up to you to do. All right, so let's go on to our next one here. Take a look at this one. Here we go again. Start at that nice little thing we call a vertex. Here we go. We're going to start at this vertex right here. So we know that this vertex is going to be minus 4, minus 6. All right, so minus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and minus 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's going to be way down here. But look at this. Our parabola is going to be opening upwards, and being that that's a 3, it's going to be narrow. So it's going to look something like that. Now, I want to go back for a second to the previous slide. Let's go look at this guy again. There's a couple of things that we have to put on here to make sure that we understand very, very well. And it has to do with this wonderful point here, which we all know is called the vertex. Okay? 
Now, I want you also to also notice something. If this was, let's say, a golf ball, so you're some sort of golfer right here, boom, boom, and this surprisingly is how Xbox works, by the way. You smack a golf ball, look what happens to your golf ball. It goes about this high, and then it starts to fall down here. So this guy actually, when the graph is opening this way, we call this our maximum height. Or we just call it a straight out maximum. The other thing that's interesting is this. Look at the graph when we draw a line going like this. If we draw this line going this way, we'll notice that this part of the graph and this part of the graph are identical. They're mirror images of each other. So we call this the axis of symmetry. All right, so what is our maximum value? Well, our maximum value, if you look, is right here. That is our coordinate of our vertex. So our maximum is the y value. All right, now if you look at the axis of symmetry, that is our x value. And we would write this down, since it is a line, and we're talking about a line here, we have to give it an equation. This would be x equals to minus 4. Right there is the minus 4. That's the x value, and that's x equals to minus 4. So now let's take a look at this one here and do exactly the same thing. Here's our vertex. And our vertex, again, is at minus 4, minus 6. This is now the lowest portion it can go. So being that the other one was the highest, and we called it a maximum, this is the lowest. We'll call it a minimum. Okay? So our minimum is at minus 6. Now, where is our axis of symmetry? Well, our axis of symmetry goes right down through that nice little vertex, and our axis of symmetry is at negative 4. All right, so there we go. Now... With all that in mind, let's go back to this and let's make a nice little summary again. We know our A, right, is positive, opens up. If our A is negative, it opens down. We know that our P stands for, right, moving left and right. Our Q stands for moving up and down. Our A, if it's big, stands for the fact that this is going to be narrow. And if our A is a fraction, we know that this is going to be wide. We also know a couple other things. If it's opening up, we're going to call this a minimum. That value down here is minimum. This value up here is going to be a maximum. And of course, our axis of symmetries, which go right through the center of everything, and it has to be an x equal to value.